Higher on the military attacks in the Middle East. That's right. And eating ice cream may be worse for the environment than eating meat. Interesting. Jane King is live at the NASDAQ with your Tuesday morning business report. Good morning, Jane. Yes, Ted Nicole. Good morning. That is a twist on uh, what we've been told over the past few years. So this study out of Japan found that the consumption of sweets, alcohol, and restaurant food adds to families' carbon footprint more than any other food and drink choices. They found that meat consumption was actually relatively constant per household, but carbon footprints were not. And instead, households with higher carbon footprints tended to consume more food from restaurants as well as more vegetables and fish. However, it was the level of sweets and alcohol, which was two to three times higher than families with low carbon footprints that really stood out in this study. Well, Elon Musk says SpaceX hopes to launch Starship for the first time within two to three months. Now, this flight design prototype of Starship is under construction at its Boca Chica, Texas facility. The Starship is a fully reusable and potentially industry upending rocket system that may land the first people on Mars. And global oil prices hit three month highs following the attacks in Iraq and Syria. The U.S. military strikes late Sunday were carried out in response to the killing of an American contractor and four U.S. servicemen working at an Iraqi military base. They could trigger renewed tensions between Washington and Tehran into the new year. Well, the Dow down nearly 200 points yesterday, probably derailed our chance for a record year. Uh, the S&P is still about 1% from its best year since 1997, but stock markets do close early today. We are closed entirely tomorrow for New Year's holiday. Looks higher today, but only about 20 points, so not enough to give us that best year since 97. We'll see how it goes. Live from the NASDAQ market site, I'm Jane King. Back to you, Ted. Well, Nicole. maybe there's some hope in, in the new decade, Jane, that we'll, yeah. we'll get some record <laughs> yeah, time. maybe. We'll see. Yeah. We're Spe so close. Speaking yeah, so of close. a new decade, with 2020 right around the corner, and Elon Musk trying to launch the Starship. It's like the future is now. I know, I know. And space, I think, is going to be huge in the next decade because there's a lot of activity and kind of a lot of innovative things going on in space. So yeah. we're going to yeah. be watching that. I'm still trying to get my round trip, trip ticket to Mars. It has to be round trip. <laughs> yeah, we want to come back. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thanks, Jane. Well, happy New Year to Thanks. you. We'll see you in 2020. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Thanks so much. Well, 620 this morning.